Hello and welcome to my craft channel Susie Makes, a channel all about crafting and even some of my ta-da moments where I showcase some of the work I've done in the past. Um, but mainly this is a video showing you normally from basic level how to do um, certain crafts. So far I've covered crochet, knitting, cross stitch, card craft and today um, I made this uh, sort of corsage, not quite a corsage really, decoration. We decided it was a, a, a cross between a corsage, a corsage and a rosette and I suggested we call it a courgette which produced lots of giggles and uh, <laughs> still makes me giggle. Um, but anyway, this decoration which can be used to pin on an outfit or a bag or um, for any sort of uh, many types of decorations really um, I made this yesterday and thought I'd talk you through how I made this one and perhaps in another video I will show you how to do it from scratch but today I'm going to talk you through how I, I made this now I, I particularly like the steampunk style so I was actually going for a bit of that as well now um, to start with I needed some circular shapes um, going down a little um, in size in order to uh, get the layers of which I have done uh, four then you've got the kibosh on in the middle there um, so to start with I uh, cut my circular shapes out and to get them now you can probably google uh, circular templates um, maybe I would suggest going down in half inch increments that you can then print off and cut out to use if you'd like the templates or if you're good at cu cutting freehand shapes freehand I'm not very good then um, by all means do it that way however I have this set of measuring cuts that um, I used as they seem to go down in just the right size uh, for what I needed and there was four different sizes of those so I drew round um, each one and the first circle I cut out from let's move that to one side for a moment The first circle I cut out of some uh, cream 100% cotton. That was using my biggest measuring cup. And then I cut out a length of um, this lovely sort of coffee coloured lace. And I'm going to be putting a, uh, a black circular uh, fabric disc on the back to finish it off professionally I just wanted to show you before I did that how I was how I'd made it Then I took a length of um, uh, coffee coloured lace um, and sewed it all around the back of the cream coloured cotton um, just using a uh, bit of a mix of running stitch and back stitch the back stitch mainly to um, so the pleats every now every so often I put a little pleat in it uh, to give that ruffled look and to sew the pleats in place and that uh, that was that first stage done then see there are four layers here that's the first end with the lace on there then I got this lovely steampunk fabric which in a way was a uh, shame to cover most of it but it was a bit difficult laying them out exactly how it would um, look uh, most pleasing to the eye and I found this way was the best so there's a bit of steampunk fabric I uh, did there. Now this is a piece of black Ada fabric uh, cut out with the third size cup. And what I did was I got some, um, I'll show you here, some copper coloured Krynic thread and random, randomly 
did a circle of cross stitches all the way around and I'll just show you what that uh, steampunk fabric looked like. That's 100% cotton again, isn't it lovely? I actually got that from um, Create and Craft. Um, just had to have the steampunk. I, re I really, really love the steampunk look. And that's the Black Ada fabric. I scrunched it up uh, to soften it, really scrunched it up quite hard because um, some cross stitch Ada fabric can be quite stiff with the uh, starches in it. So I scrunched it up quite hard to soften it. Doesn't matter, you don't have to iron it out. It is steampunk look after all. Um, and then after the Ada fabric, um, where as I said, I did those metallic copper coloured cross stitches all the way around, I used some of this yellowy coloured organza. And the circles really, really don't have to be perfect, as you can see, mine are not. Um, and uh, then to top it all off, I had bought this uh, kerboshon in the local charity shop, uh, something like for, for one or two pounds. Now, there was, for my liking, a bit too much shine of gold around the edge of it, so I actually got a nail file and filed it down. Um, I filed a lot of, lot of the gold away just to dull it a bit, which um, I was quite pleased with that look. Now, to um, sew it all together, I folded it in half one way and then again the other. So, because I've got it all together, it's hard to show you exactly. But And then you had this little cone shape in the back. So you do several stitches all the way through the layers to secure um, your courgette. <laughs> See, still making me laugh. <laughs> and then I did a, a row of little running stitches around the outside just for a little bit more gather. Pulled it up, secured with some more stitches as well. And to finish off the look, um, from Amazon a while ago, I uh, got some, uh, I was doing a, a search on steampunk stuff that they had, and I got this, which was this sort of vintage brass looking chain, which just came in a bag like that, and I cut a piece off with a pair of pliers, and I put it behind, hung it behind the kibosh on there, and then tied it uh, underneath, just the once, um, underneath to uh, get the hanging look I wanted. Now, these decorations were again on Amazon. Um, a bag of steampunk charms. And they were very, very reasonably priced. I don't think I paid as much as £2 for either of those, actually. The chains or these. Now, uh, you see uh, there's another heart there, which is uh, what I used here. And then this one came from the same bag. You get a whole variety. Um, there's a musical note there. And you get some little cogs and beads and all sorts of... Uh, yummy stuff uh, in that bag as well. Let's push those to one side for a moment. Now, the chain was too thick to go through the little hole on the um, embellishments here. So I got, uh, this is uh, something I had, I'd been, uh, dem um, uh, what's the word, I forgot my words. Come on brain, kick, kick back into gear. Um, experimenting, that's the word, experimenting with at one point, uh, which didn't quite work out, so I used a bit of this knitting wire. I uh, again got the pliers and cut a piece, a little piece off, and thread it through the embellishment and then through the chain. Now, 
uh, and then tied it together and sort of bent it around and squeezed it with the pliers to make sure the tip of the pliers um, to uh, gel it all together. Now the copper colour of, of that knitting wire did actually show quite a lot so I got a dark brown alcohol marker and just dabbed all around it to dull the copper look which I think was quite successful so I did that with both of the um, embellishments there and there I have my steampunk style um, decoration which I can as I said choose to wear on um, a coat or um, decorate a bag um, you could really decorate a uh, quite a lot of things with that actually. Um, it could go as a home decoration, on uh, put it in the uh, corner of a picture or um, on, on a curtain, um, really all sorts of things. Use it in a scrapbooking page if you're into scrapbooking. Um, uh, even put it on a, a a card, I suppose, but it'd have to be a nice, strong, sturdy one, I guess. Um, but there, really let your imagination run wild. Um, you'll uh, thoroughly enjoy experimenting with your uh, fabrics. I think I want to make an angel one next, actually, which I will do on video for you. Um, so uh, you can see exactly how I did it. Um, but uh, I hope you give it a try anyway and I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, let your imagination run wild I mean here is a piece of uh, yellow velvet silk I was given a whole bag full of this scrummy fabric by my daughter um, it is the softest softest velvet this silk silk velvet that you've uh, ever seen or touched and uh, because when before I first started making this, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use. Uh, this was a consideration as well, but in the end, I decided not to. Um, but let let your imagination run, run wild. You'll be surprised what you've got laying about the ho the home. Um, obviously, this kaboshan is a one-off because I found it in the charity shop, and. Um, but you can use anything if you're a crafter you know uh, we we know we belong to the secret society of stashes you know anyone who crafts you do have a stash that magically appears now and then um, and you lose all memory of where it actually came from well at least I do anyway um, but uh, do enjoy if you decide to have a go yourself it's it's not quite a corsage as I said and I thought so and my son thought it looked a bit like a rosette um, so that's why <laughs> I just say I've invented a new thing in crafting it's a courgette and I really hope you give it a go and thoroughly enjoy yourself thank you very much for stopping by if you've enjoyed this video then please subscribe I tend to um, upload videos between two and six times a week and it would be lovely to have you stop by again bye bye for now